Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Sienna from Tribal Dance Long Island in Caravan Connection, New York. And one of the biggest things I always get asked is, what am I using on my face as far as my makeup? I, you know, do very elaborate stage makeup and pretty much that's how I wear my makeup every day. So it kind of feels normal for me. Um, people always want to know what to buy, what to wear, how to do it. And now that we have Hofla coming up and we're doing makeup tutorials, there's some basics that everyone kind of needs. For starters, I need a really, actually everyone needs, a really good moisturizer that blends well with makeup. Um, that is a good place to start that will help your makeup stay without caking your face. I love Oil of Olay and um, Walmart makes their own brand equivalent. Uh, and it is the best one, it's the Regenerist, and this is what goes on my face before I put on any makeup at all, and it really does help with the wrinkles, it helps you not to get the makeup settled into fine lines, so this is very important. The other thing is, is that particularly for stage makeup, you must, must, must wear foundation. There has to be a base, because otherwise your face gets lost in the crowd, you, you don't look as good on film, you get washed out by lights, by flashes, so you must have a good base to start with. Um, I love Bare Minerals, but Bare Minerals I find is not good enough for the stage. So one of the things that I love is the Dream Matte Mousse by Maybelline. It looks like this. Um, and this is a wonderful base. I get it in several different shades so that I can contour, because you don't want a flat face, you want a face with character. So I get it in a, in the first one matches my skin tone to the best of my ability. Then there's a, almost a white porcelain for highlighting. And then I have a darker brown um, for creating the cuts in the cheekbones and shading in the face so that you are focused on what you want to see. Very important. Of course, you must have good brushes. I love e.l.f. Okay, they're cheap and they work well and if they break or they get gross, you can throw them away without freaking out. So I apply everything with good brushes as far as the foundation and the contour. Uh, and I do blend with sponges. Make sure you wash your sponges out periodically or they get really gross. Um, but you need to smooth all of those together so that you don't have blocks of color on your face because that's just not right. And then of course, as far as brushes are concerned, you need to have a bunch of good ones. A good contour palette. I'm actually looking for that. Hold on one second. Um, I personally love the NYX. I love this brand, by the way. It's um, MAC quality at Maybelline prices, um, which is really nice. Uh, this is a contour palette. It has all your highlights and everything. This is the one that I would love all my students to have, actually. Um, I just love NYX as a brand, as along with Milani, which is also cruelty-free, which is wonderful. And then of course you need some good ass eyeshadow because if you're gonna go, if you're gonna be big, do it. And particularly for Tribal Dance Long Island, we love smoky eyes, we love that deep sultry look, um, and we love um, concentrated pigmentation and color. So, you know, having a really good palette with a lot of, um, with a lot of color is a wonderful thing. And then of course, you can't ever get away with not having glitter. glitter glitter for everything there's not enough glitter in the world and of course there is no such thing as a good theatrical look without big ass fake eyelashes because this this is the curtains of the soul so, we're gonna be doing some tutorials coming up, but now you kind of know the basics of what you need to have. Of course, a really good black eyeliner for doing all those beautiful little wings. I personally love the L'Oreal Telescopic in the blackest black and the waterproof, as well as a nice soft black coal to line the water lines in your eye. Um, and my preference is the Milani Stay Put because one, it's cruelty free, it's very, very jelly, so it really slides on nice and it doesn't get into your eyes. And then, of course, everyone's all afraid at the end of the day. Sienna, how do I take it all off? Really simple. 
warm up some coconut oil. It's good for your skin. It helps your skin heal. It takes off all the makeup, hydrates and nourishes. You warm it up so that it gets nice and liquidy and just comes right off. And then you just use a nice moisturizer afterwards. Really simple. So I'll be seeing you at the Hoffler. You can check out our makeup. That's tomorrow, six o'clock, Moose Lodge and Green Lawn. And then check back with us because we're gonna be uh, doing some videos of the makeup that we do along the weekend. See you later and shimmy on.